I thought I'd try this video or vlogging out. Um, see how it goes, because I know a lot of stuff. I mean, we just finished up hyping school last week uh, and ended the Celtic Festival yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd try this uh, vlogging out a little bit and see how it goes. Um, just because I know, like, last week there were some instances that would have been kind of cool to be videoing um, some of the stuff, especially with some of the guys from Albuquerque and Las Vegas and stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd try this out maybe a little bit, uh, see how it goes. Uh, feels kind of weird to hold the camera out at, this <laughs> at the end of my arm. Um, but it might be kind of interesting. Just give it a try, uh, see how it goes. Um, see if I can get some of the good stuff on camera that I usually miss. Um, because it seems like I miss a lot when I have the camera in my pocket. I've been getting better about keeping it in my pocket and all that, just in, just in case there's a photo or something, uh, like the windmill blades or whatever going down I-40 in the mornings. But, uh, you know, if it's easier to do it on video, get something on video if it's already going, especially, than it is to, say, pull out a camera and try to take a photo of it. I mean, it's fine for things like, uh, uh, static objects or lightning over a period of time or something like that, but just one, one split second uh, incident or something like that, or something cool that happened, it's kind of hard to get that on a photograph, you know what I mean, on that. So if, just see how this goes. I probably won't do it that much, but it's just kind of something different to do. It just seems like that's starting to be the trend on things. and. I mean, it's a lot easier to do something like this and actually see what's going on in the everyday life. I mean, like, all the rain and lightning out here today, um, and all that stuff. It's it's easier to get it on video than it is to get it, write, write it down in, like, a diary or something like that, you know? So, yeah, we'll just, I'll play around with this, see how it goes. Uh, again, might not be going for this for too long or anything like that, but... It might be kind of interesting to do, so, yeah, that's what's up. So, yeah, I went and did it again. <laughs> um, went and didn't video, and there was something really cool that happened. And turning off a shirt, or turning on shirt Forest Road off Route 66, <laughs> of all things, I almost ran over two prairie dogs going across the road. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. That was weird to see a prairie dog running across the road in front of me. I really didn't think I would ever see something like that happen, especially around here. But, uh, and then just a short ways down, there's this weird little yellow bird perched on there, so there we go. There's two different things that happened just in a short period of time um, that I went and missed because I did not video, of course. So maybe I'll be vlogging a bit more than uh, I would originally, or what I originally thought I would, because that was kind of weird to see a couple little prey dogs running in the road and down in front of me. Hi girls. <laughs> Hi. Precious enough. Yeah. Hey, Rush. Oh, my. Good girl. And yet, this isn't close enough to somebody looking in your face, huh? <laughs> and with you. Yeah, one didn't That's like so the weird. camera, huh? Was it her? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will lick you.